Curating is simply choosing the artist. We think about their work and we think about what they do and, and would it fit here and it just works out great. This is the centennial year of Sam Maloof's life and so there's a lot of celebratory events going around. Sculpture in the garden, overall response from just the layman visitor is fabulous. Sculpture and Garden is definitely a unique opportunity for a lot of the artists to be able to exhibit in such a wonderful setting, all this green, all this beautiful plants and the trails and it's just another venue that a lot of artists don't have the opportunity to show in. This getting to do a space where you're in an artist's home and residence and gardens where they are trying to make this as hospitable as possible for your vision or your ideas or your forms that you want to experiment. To just get to have the chance to do that is just a great opportunity. And it kind of gets the artist thinking, what, what would look great outside? What would look great with all this green? Gets them to make something new and something interesting. You create with a sense of the environment that you're going to place it in. How can we make something that's going to be as beautiful as the surrounding garden? I like the whole concept of the artist choosing their spot. I wanted this sort of arboreal hollow that would nestle the bone cave into. As people are walking around, they'll see this and hopefully get very excited about this color and the shape. I'd really like to build a window, kind of a window frame here. I'm looking up at the mountains here. And uh, so I started out with one and I had enough to do that. And then when I came out here to look for my space, which is right here, I, um, I said, wow, I, can, I should do three. Flowers were gonna come into bloom over the season of the show and try to pick my colors accordingly to the, the plant life in this little nook of the garden that I'm lucky enough to be in. Glass sculpture in gardens are just really made for each other. It's a marvelous way to teach children. The high schools bring their art students up and sometimes those students will light up and then you don't know that could take them on their whole their life lead them to a creative life. I didn't realize just how rewarding and rich the experience would be and um, it started from the minute that I arrived to select the location for the piece. So this time we have a lot of new people here which is absolutely fantastic to see all this different variety. A lot of metal work, a lot of ceramic work. That's one thing I really noticed about this show. Um, it has a large variety. It shows sculpture in all sorts of shapes and forms. The support that the Malou Foundation gives to crafts, be it wood or ceramic or any of the other mediums, is fantastic. So very pleased to be here amongst the artists in this show. Uh, lots of promotion for all the artists and for the exhibit. Just a great opportunity that was given to us by the Foundation. It allows people that maybe don't even know about the sculpture exhibit that are coming to see the work that's here of Malou's and the Foundation and the house that they now have this opportunity to come through here and see all this wonderful work. It's always a pleasure for me because I just had so much respect for Sam. I'm very honored to be part of it. It's kind of a magical place. If Sam was here today, he would uh, shake everybody's hand and say, let's go make something. <laughs>